Check out what just happened. What do you do in such a situation? What do you do? What do you do? <laughs> you, you don't even get angry, guys. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, my name is Naninga Koe. Welcome, have a seat. We're going to do some awesome makeup today. I'm going to use like five eyeshadow colors, yes. If you're wondering how you want to finish your eyeshadow palette, follow this channel because I'm going to make sure that you finish it. Rarely do we finish our eyeshadow oh, palettes, but this is just my bare video. face and I'm just going to apply a serum because I'm just from washing it. And me, I normally don't apply many things on my face. I just usually like apply a serum on me basically. So I'm just going to do that. Oh, that's a lot of serum. Should not have pumped it direct. Never do this, kids. Don't do this. But. Oh, I'm looking for my mirror. Okay. And if this durag, okay, wig cap is torn, just ignore it, okay? So this is the. Nivea Luminous 630 Serum. It is so good. Like, my skin has never looked better. I know you guys are like, but your skin is spotty. Yes, but the spots are fading. <laughs> it's a very, very lightweight serum. And I like it for that, so. I'm just going to try and make sure that it gets in the skin. Oh, uh, the no, that I always start with my eyebrows, and I think eyebrows frame the face, so you cannot really work without eyebrows. So let's just draw in our eyebrows, because I basically just drew in my. So eyebrows, I've just guys. sharpened. Have I though? Let me just sharpen. I, I don't. I hadn't sharpened this. I put it in the sharpener, but I hadn't sharpened it. So let me just try and do that. Let me apply some powder in the area where I'm going to draw them so that they don't slide off easily and I'm just using my finger to apply the powder. So that area is nice and dry. I'm now just going to draw them in. Follow me, you know that I like drag queen eyebrows so let me just draw those drag queen eyebrows they're my thing guys oh wow they're my thing okay now that we have our drag queen eyebrows we're going to fill them in definitely you cannot go around like this Sheesh. maybe one day but not now not in 2021 <laughs> Trust the process and also i wouldn't recommend this this is just a get ready with me i would definitely not recommend this i'd recommend that you go buy yourself an eyebrow gel or an eyebrow wax or any of those recommended products but don't do this you don't want to use like an this is for people who don't have a spoolie but if you have a spoolie you can just comb through it because the eye pencil will just slide around and form whatever you're forming but i'd highly recommend that you use an old mascara wand that has sorry sort of dried down but hasn't fully dried down like partially dried down as you can see yeah they are they're looking a bit thin so if you don't have a spoolie, just take an old mascara wand, any mascara wand, even a fake one. It will just work the same as a spoolie. I think that looks although i don't know whether i did it symmetrically but it's fine eyebrows are never symmetrical 
Next, we're going to do our eyeshadow and today I'm doing the most exciting eyeshadow. It's been so long since I did bright makeup. For those of you who started the channel with me, you know that I used to love bright makeup. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put an eyeshadow primer first, a white one. And then after I put the eyeshadow primer, I'm definitely going to use some bright colors. And I, as I told you, I'm going to use literally five, five of them. So you guys just wait and see how bomb this is going to turn out. <laughs> So I'm using the LA Girl Pro Primer High Definition Eyeshadow Primer in the color white because white usually makes the colors look brighter. So that's a tip for you. If you want to, your colors to really look bright, brighter than usual, use an, a white eyeshadow primer or a really white, light one. Or you can even use like a really, really light concealer on your eyes. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. And because this eyeshadow primer normally kicks, I'm usually ready with a brush to blend it out. So I'm just going to use like a few. Okay, as you can see, it's blending quite well. And then guys, there's a step that I actually missed, but you can always go back to any step that you want. One way to kill a stone. So to kill a stone, what have I become blonde now? But anyway, um, this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Primer. <sighs> guys, 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 something is wrong. LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer in the shade Phone. And that's what I usually use to blend out my, not blend out, to, con to like highlight my brows. So I'm just going to like draw where the brows are. And because my real natural brows go down like this, I'm just going to apply some right there. Yeah, like that. And I'm going to do the same with the other, the top part and also the other brow. You know, makeup is just supposed to be something fun. It's not supposed to be something serious, which you take so seriously. Okay, unless you're a makeup artist by profession. Yeah, I mean, I'm a makeup artist by hobby. So I'm just blending it out so that it's not so stuck different. Okay, so we're done with that. Next, we're doing going to do our eyeshadow, which is the most exciting part about this video. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Light color just to highlight my brows that are already there. This under, not like over. I'm just going to apply the purple in the crease of my eye and to like create a wing somehow. So at first it will look like that because I have to use a smaller brush for the next step. And I'll just kind of like blend it out a bit. Okay, now that we are done with that, we're not yet done, guys. <laughs> yes, we're not yet done. We are going to take a smaller brush and try and recreate the wing. So I'm just going to try and like create a wing as you're going to see. So I'll just like... do that and same on this other side so 
Now, don't care whether it will be messy or not because we'll clean that up as you're going to see. Also, it's kind of not the same, but it's fine. We'll sort out that issue. We're through with that. We are going to blend it out again because I wanted like a gradient effect. So I'm just going to like blend. going to do next is that we're going to create a cut crease i know that cut, re cut creases are like outdated but why what 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 other kind of eyeshadow would you do with that neon pigments you have to like do a cut crease just trust the process guys i know it looks bizarre it looks crazy it looks not wonderful but trust the process yeah no i kind of confused but trust the process so i'm just going to take this brush this concealer thingy and i'm just going to like do the cut crease starting from here yeah are you see maybe i should move closer so that you guys can see it's going to look and then I'm going to repeat the same process on this other side. And then we are going to take a neon green eyeshadow and apply it basically where we've demarcated. Check out what just happened. What do you do in such a situation? What do you do? What do you do? <laughs> You, you don't even get angry, guys. You don't. <laughs> guys, I'm basically starting from scratch. Like, I've washed my face again. Like, anyone who does YouTube knows that that is the most annoying thing. But I'm going to hurry it up for you. I'm just going to speed it up for you. Okay, guys, I believe we were right here, so I'm just going to now apply the green eyeshadow. <laughs> it takes patience, guys, to do YouTube and completely ignore these green stains, this green stained top. There's nothing I can do about it right now because <laughs> I'm not going to start changing my clothes. But let us just draw. You can even leave this like this. Okay, of course, it doesn't look that good, but apply it like carefully, guys, carefully like right here you know the secret to this is actually to make sure that your brush doesn't have a lot of fallout like mine so that it doesn't like fall onto the parts that you really done. patience and understanding <laughs> okay yeah i think we'll job so we are going to the other eye hurriedly okay 
we are done with that so i'm just going to clean this brush and then use because i'm i don't have a lot of eyeshadow brushes so i'm just going to clean this one and then i'm going to come back and try and do the next step this is me cleaning it <laughs> What do you think I was going to do? That went poorly, so what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to use the eyeliner. Yes. Eyeliner to the rescue. Now, where is that eyeliner? So I'm just basically going to apply the eyeliner right here. My eyeliner is almost drying out. Need a new one. Okay, I think that's okay. Yeah, it, should, it could be better, but because it turned out so weird and awkward at first. So next I'm just going to take the green, the same, same green. And I'm just going to apply it like under my eye right here. I have to wash the brush again. This green right down here. Wow, I really look like a bird, guys, but it's okay. <laughs> a bird. Eye bugs, guys, but it's okay. It's okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, let me just take this cotton ball and try and clean myself up. Because this is some messy stuff. Okay. Okay, it's really messy though. So I'm just going to take a Q-tip, which is this one, or and just try and clean up. In case you want to clean up like makeup that is excess, this is a tip. There, boom. <laughs> yeah, so next we're going to do our lashes, and I have not yet put the glue. Anyway, you don't want to look like a weird thing, you have to put false lashes, and also you have to. Put mascara on your lower eyelid so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to put mascara on my lower eyelid yes for real i'm the queen of wonky lashes just forgive me for that but doing my own lashes has always been a problem I wish somebody could teach me how to do it. But anyway, so I'm going to do my foundation next, which is the, because I want a matte finish, I don't want a shimmer, glossy finish. I'm going to use this Maybelline one in matte, in warm coconut, which is 356. It's a clay, it says it has clay, so it's matte, it's really matte.
So after taking that, I'm just going to take a, a brush like that I can use for stippling basically. And I have not washed these brushes, but you guys have to understand I'm super busy. So that is... Can we just talk about how this Nivea has made my skin so smooth? Like sincerely, this, what is it called? This Lumina 630. Like even the foundation is going on so, so well. The next thing I'm going to do is concealer and also like highlight, highlighting concealer, something of the sort. So what I'm going to take is that I'm going to mix two concealers because I really don't like how this Maybelline goes. I prefer a lighter concealer, like a really lighter concealer. Sorry about that. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to start with this one. And then like... Oh, I really put like a sharp thingy, so then and then I'll just like dab a little bit of the Maybelline one just to because this one is really light just to like blend in the color kind of And this really takes time, so you need patience. going to like I've practically filmed until almost nightfall that's why I've closed the curtains so just it's hard work guys don't forget to subscribe and to like this video where's my little mirror yeah so I'm just going to contour the nose further same same beauty blender and I'm just going to press that in just to eliminate like harsh lines. So as you can see that looks kind of okay. Yeah. Yeah, so next we're just going to apply the setting powder. I'm not going to set this whatever. I'm just going to apply some setting powder directly and then I'll do my lips. These are everywhere, guys. <laughs> Who normally does makeup and is so confused like me? So I'm just going to take the Maybelline setting powder. Do I do let me do the lips first? Yeah, so I'm going to just to do a simple lip.
because the lips are really really bold I don't want it to like look so much and then I'm just going to take this illegal um, matte color in going steady this is just one of those colors which you cannot use alone if you're an African you have to blend it out nice and blended Yeah, that's okay, kind of. I feel like I'm in 2012, 2013, maybe. Then I'm just going to take this Victoria's Secret lip gloss and I'm just going to apply it on my lips. Yeah, I've just applied the like Victoria's Secret lip gloss on top of it. So now I'm just going to set my face and then highlight. And then call it a makeup look. Where is the... <laughs> Guys, I'm confused. Mirror, mirror on the... Okay, mirror phone. <laughs> so I'm just going to do the highlight. And I normally just use a small brush. And I spray it and then I just take the highlight. I just apply like a bit. there and then um yeah i could do some on the nose too yeah so i am going to come back and look fabulous so after all the struggles and the trials and the temptations that i've been through i've finally finished this makeup look and it just looks fabulous in case you're wondering about the wonky lashes they are wonky it's not you who's seeing things they're wonky guys they're wonky i think i did a really 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 great job i think so do you think so tell me in the comment section whether you think this makeup look i tried or it was a fail but i feel like i tried so Thank you so much guys for watching don't forget to subscribe down below and also to comment and what else to share and to like and to watch to the end yeah of course if you're seeing this you watch to the end thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video ciao